The gentlewoman from Nevada is recognized for as much time as she may consume. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Chairman Miller, Ranking Member Michaud, thank you for yielding me the time. As the Ranking Member of the Disability Assistance and Memorial Affairs Subcommittee, I rise today in strong support of S-893 to provide a COLA increase for disabled veterans. In the wake of Veterans Day, let us take um, a lesson from President Kennedy's admonition that we should show our respect for our heroes not just through words but through actions. This legislation is an opportunity for us to take such action. With its passage, Congress can show tangible support for our nation's heroes. Unlike with Social Security recipients, Congress is required to adjust veterans' COLAs every year. S-893 would make that important adjustment for next year. That's a good thing, which I support, but I would also urge the Senate in the meantime to pass H.R. 570, the American Heroes COLA Act, that would allow for an automatic COLA increase so that veterans' benefits are not subject to any congressional delay. Making the adjustment automatic would remove this important benefit from the capriciousness of partisan politics or personal grandstanding. This bill was introduced in a bipartisan fashion by our subcommittee chairman, John Runyon, and me. It was unanimously approved by the House in May and is awaiting action down the hall. So while we await the passage of that automatic increase, passing S-893 is an important step forward. I support it. It will ensure that our nation's heroes receive all the benefits they have earned, and I would encourage my colleagues to support it as well, because this will be a true recognition of the veterans whose service and sacrifice we honored yesterday.